A Layer 3 switch combines the features of a traditional Layer 2 switch with built-in routing capabilities, enabling the switch to route traffic between different VLANs at wire speed. This greatly improves performance, especially if you plan to transfer large files between different VLANs. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain Layer 3 configuration on a Catalyst 1300 switch. Next. A couple of basic prerequisites before I start. With Layer 3 routing, your router needs to use Network Address Translation, NAT, for internet traffic. Most modern routers have this enabled by default, but in case your network is not set up this way, I wanted to mention it. You also need access to the switch via the router. As long as those are set, you can log into the web user interface, UI, of the switch. Enable the advanced view in the upper right corner. To view the VLANs on the switch, navigate to VLAN management and then VLAN settings. On this network, the switch has already been configured as a layer two switch with router on a stick configurations and three VLANs. Each of these VLANs needs to be configured with a switch virtual interface, SVI, to enable layer three switching. To do this, go to IPv4 configuration and then IPv4 interface. I'll add two switch virtual interfaces for VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 by selecting the plus icon. For VLAN 2, I'll assign an IP address of 192.168.20.2 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 and press apply. Repeat the same process for any other VLANs. In my case, that's VLAN 3. Create a Layer 2 interface with an IP address to route traffic upstream once Layer 3 functionality is enabled on this port. Choose the interface connected to your router or firewall device. In this example, interface 35 is connected to my router. I will assign it to the IP address of 192.168.40.2 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.252 and click apply. Next, to ensure all VLANs can communicate with each other using the switch as the gateway, enable IPv4 routing and apply. This will also allow routing among all layer three interfaces. To create a gateway for layer three traffic, go to IPv4 static routes and add a default gateway. I'll enter 0.0.0.0 .0 for the IP address and the subnet mask with the next hop of 192.168.40.1 and click apply. The next step is to set up a DHCP server. You have three options for this. You can use a centralized DHCP server, DHCP relay, or a DHCP server on a switch. If you want to set up your switch as a DHCP server, the link in the description will walk you through the process. Ensure that in your DHCP server pool, the default router is the switch and the domain name server is either Google or your ISP's DNS server. Then head over to the switch UI and change the interface connecting with the router to layer three. Select VLAN management and then interface settings. Scroll down to the switch interface that will be the uplink in my case, that's interface 35. Select it and click the edit icon. Change the switch port mode from layer two to layer three. Click apply. This will disable connectivity with the switch since layer two traffic was disabled for this specific port. To establish connectivity using layer three, you must set up layer three return static routes on your connecting router or firewall. I'll use an RV260W router to configure the routes back to the switch. If you are not using an RV series router, follow the instructions for layer three routing that are specific to that device instead. Log into the web UI of the router. Before the routes are entered, some changes need to be made. Go to LAN and VLAN settings. Since the 192.168.10.1 network is no longer directly connected to the router, I'll change VLAN 1 to 192.168.5.1 and click apply. 
Log in with the new IP address to get back into the web UI of the router. I'll delete VLANs 2 and 3 and create VLAN 4 with an IP address of 192.168.40.1 and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.252. In the section below, I'll set VLAN 4 as untagged on port 1 and click apply. Once everything is prepared, you can put in the return routes. Navigate to routing and then static routing. Click the add button. Enter the IP address of the network, subnet mask, and next hop. Repeat this process for the rest of the networks on the switch. Press apply. It should be set. Yes, my computer has picked up an IP address from the Catalyst switch on VLAN 1 and is using the switch as the default gateway with the IP address of 192.168.10.2. Great, I can successfully communicate with the devices on the switch. Be sure to save all these new configurations. Your Catalyst 1300 switch is set to use layer three routing, providing the flexibility, performance, and security you need to support your growing business. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.